Hello mga kababayan, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Laruan ni Obi-Wan. So for this afternoon's review, we are going to start a series for the Top Gun Maverick film. So I'm really surprised that um, Hobby Lobby has merchandise, especially model kits. And uh, right now they have action figures on board. Right now for their model kits, they are offering 40% for all model kits that are on stock so if you are interested in any then it's time for you to head to your local Hobby Lobby and snag one of these model kits so since our theme for this week would be concentrated on Top Gun then we have the F-18 Hornet so the planes that is associated with the film and we have the P-51 Mustang. So let's start with the P-51 Mustang. So for those of you who are interested in purchasing this model kit, so it is just an easy click system and we hope that we're going to have a very good plane. Well, that is the purpose of this review to discover whether this set is worth your buck. And anyway, it's 14.99 less 40% then that's going to be a real steal. So for those of you who are interested in how this box looks, so at the back of the box, we have a big um, image of the P-51 Mustang that we're going to assemble and a glimpse some of the pictures of this kit it is in 1 is to 48 scale it's 26 pieces so this is the barcodes and the numbers associated with this model kit so it is by new ray so let's take this kit out of packaging so let's look at the contents of our purchase oops and the propeller fell out and the stand or it's a holding device of some sort anyway so this is what you get out of your purchase so of course it's a model kit it's a, se a simple assembly not your level 5 or level 4 so it's easy assembly so parts of the plane and we have some form of stand and possibly the instruction manual inside this buggy okay so inside that small bag was the flight stand of the plane with the p51 mustang inscription at the base and so far it is nice and solid we have a instruction manual of some sort and it is really packet size inside the pack this component box would be plane parts of course so the wing with the fuel tanks already attached so no need to assemble that so nicely painted evenly painted loving the color and the finish so that's good so all we need to do is assemble this so we have some screws and pins so I guess this is going to go somewhere on the plane over here and possibly on the so let, let's take the propeller out so that's a closer look at the propeller and we have the plane so the main body of the plane is wrapped in your standard rubber band transparent rubber band so this is what the main body looks like with the pilot on board and i think we still have to take these pieces apart and some assembly is required i think inside okay so let's take that rubber band off and discover what we have on board okay so so far so good nicely painted and clean well that is a miss on the paint that's an overlay but so far looks good 
so this is how it look like looks like I mean so you take it apart so we have the cockpit area and the pilot so let's assemble this P51 Mustang okay so looking at the two pieces of the main body of the plane so we have connection points over here so I think that is where these pins are going to so they are going to engage on the other half of the body of the planes and there are excess materials on these portions where the, these two pieces would connect and somehow you have to take out your exacto knife and clear the plastic off before you engage both pieces together so that is to ensure a smooth um, joining between these two pieces i guess so let's continue with the build so i guess this is the only difficult um, part of this process of assembling of this very simple kit would be the as um, the pins so installing the pins would need a multi tool of some sort or possibly a, ma a soft mallet that you could use to hammer down or either um, pinch on the pin and you could force it down the hole so just like this oh i think i put it in so deep nope not really so that is just right so it's good to have a multi eye tool on board always when you're doing something or especially a project like this so i think the next thing or the next hardest thing with this simple very simple build is joining these two pieces together especially joining the pin parts but once you are able to do that um, somehow it looks nice and clean um, yeah so this part over here still needs to be um, joined together and you have to apply a little bit more of pressure for the pin to really settle down on both sides of the body of the plane but for the front part this is where you are going to start so the front part the front pin is going to engage first and followed by the rest of the other three pins located on the uh, low, lower side or mid half to the tail portion of the plane and it's a good idea to put the uh, rear landing gear out before you join the two pieces in. so let's assemble the rest of the plane so the canopy is just simple so you have it over here no need to cut it out of the tray like your standard model kit so it has um, pegs over here on the back of the canopy and on the front and that's going to engage on these two sides so i think the rear goes first before the front Let's do it again this way okay there you go so once you're able to snap it into place the can be is really nice and flush to the rest of the body of the plane so so for the tail parts you have to first file the connection ends before you put them back into place because somehow as, as out of the box you install it immediately they would just not sit right and flush so i had to um, shave um, shave uh, file portions of the tail wing so as you could see so that's filed down a little bit and i think i need to file a bit more 
so those connection points won't be showing so let's do a little bit of filing part and we're good with the tail end of this p51 mustang okay so we have this part done over here and somehow these two pieces just won't fit well so i guess it's just the placement of the pins i really didn't place them nice and deep so yeah the body really has a gap this way compared to the front of the plane which is really nice and flush and anyway that's the thing when some assembly is required it's not the fault of the bald it's actually the user <laughs> okay so let's proceed with installing the final i guess the final two or three pieces of this build so we have the wing and it just nestles nice this way and okay there you go so we got the wing nicely settled on the body or the rest of the airplane and it's just going to be the landing gears and so far so good really really appreciate this really simple um, product from Hobby Lobby well of course that thing is really an eyesore but that is just okay it's user error <laughs> So we have all parts of the plane in place. So we already have the whole P-51 Mustang at hand. And we have a decent um, display um, stand for this plane. So it's either in flight mode and you have a peg hole over there wherein you could engage this to that. And it's going to possibly look like this okay so really nice and neat of course you need to um, retract the rear landing gear so that's going to be nice uh, a nice looking display or diorama so this was this instruction manual was totally useless so you just have to use your gray matter um in building this thing so there are four um, pins so the pins would go on the body of the plane which would be holding the body or the two pieces of the body together and uh, do not rush this build even this is a very simple build um, it took me about something like 30 minutes i did not um, rush things because i wanted to have a really nice p51 mustang so even if the wrap the the build is simple all of the pieces are nicely um, assembled and you just have to possibly snap into place everything but i did not rush the build so for example on the tail ends um you need you need to file the connection joints first before you uh, put it into place and especially on the joining ends when you're connecting these two pieces together so that's going to take a little bit of time especially if you want a nice and flush body not like this so this is a result of me not putting the rear pin really nice and deep so we have a little bit of gapping space over here so features of this plane we have retractable landing gears so the two front landing gears actually looks like this they are nicely stored underneath the wings and if you don't want to make use of the stand you could display this plane this way so yep 
and the front landing gears the wheels well you could still paint them and they have rolling function so nice touch for this kit and the propeller blades front part could spin well if you want a more uh, flowing motion once you do something like that and it um, would spin flawlessly I guess you have to really um, get rid of some of the materials on the cone but this is I just like it this way nice and flush so well there are other things that you could do to this build to make it really beautiful you could improve on the paint even add decals numbers paintings etc so this is still actually highly customizable that's it so i think the markings could easily be scratched out too if in just in case you want um your personal markings on this and let's go to the dimensions first before uh, we go to the photos and the video shots so length of nine and a half for the wing so across it's going to be an eight inches for the body of the plane eight inches so that's the simple dimensions of this p51 mustang which would also be featured in the top gun maverick film so if you like this video like comment and subscribe and see you on the next review